Hello, doodlebugs. I am acting real big because that's what you do when you see bears. And boy, you are bear beautiful today. Hello, doodlebugs. It's Mary. It's your art this month. I'm going to go over some of your artwork. I'm going to announce December's monthly theme, answer some questions, and, um, you know, patch up all the holes in humanity that we have today. First, some housekeeping. It is the season to give gifts to yourselves or others. I don't care, as long as you go to marydoodles.com and go to the shop, uh, you can get some original paintings that I am now putting up there for the holidays. Prints, stickers, t-shirts, all that is on redbubble.com. I have a shop with them there. Just go to my website, you'll be able to find links to all the things. And fair warning, I am going to be closing down my Redbubble shop by the end of the year. Everything that's up there is gonna be available for a limited time. And if you are looking to get original paintings for the holidays, and by holidays, I mean Christmas, paintings will be shipped out up until December 15th. After that date, uh, they're not being shipped out until I return in January. So you can go check those things out. Second order of business, Facebook. Have you heard? It's a thing. They have videos there now, and so if you want to check out some new time-lapse paintings, nothing that you've seen here, uh, you can go to facebook.com slash show, or you can access it on my Facebook page too, I believe. It's a new thing, I'm trying it out. I'd love feedback, what do you think about the Facebook videos, what are your thoughts, feelings on well, that and anything. You just comment there, comment here, comment, comment everywhere. All right, let's move on to goals, because every month I like to set out with a specific goal in mind to help myself get better. Last month, my goal was to make more emotional-based artwork to pick subjects, thoughts, imagery that really got vulnerable and exposed what I was really feeling. And you know what? I really didn't feel like doing that, but I started doing more simplified stuff. And my new goal that I'm still gonna be working on this month is to keep things simple. Less is more. One of the traps that I noticed I tend to fall into is this feeling of needing to add more to what I'm making. And I think a part of that is that I feel like I, it needs to live up to a certain level. All this extra stuff I'm putting into what I make isn't really helping out. And in fact, I think it's taking away from what I do. And so I'm trying to um, be a little more off the cuff with what I'm drawing and painting. And you know what? It's real fun. I'm returning to doodles. Oh, that's what I was supposed to be doing this whole time. So that's my goal for this month. If there's something you have in mind that you're struggling with or aiming to do with your work, feel free to comment and share that below. And if you're thinking, boy, I really want to increase my skills as a creative human being, how do I begin? Where do I start? Maybe someone else's goal would be a good starting place for you and you can go get some ideas in them comments. Speaking of comments, we got some comments from last month's video. Particularly, there's a very beautiful eulogy from Elena Jones, who thought that I had died over the summer break. Reasonable. So uh, I'm gonna read this beautiful, beautiful eulogy by Elena Jones for Mary Doodles. Rest in peace. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'll do my best to get through this. Mary Doodles. Best known for her beautiful, hypnotic, sometimes terrifying artwork, I'll never forget the jackalope chewing on someone's hand, is no more. She has ceased to be bereft of life. She rests in peace. Kicked the bucket, hopped the twig, bit the dust, snuffed it, breathed her last, and gone to meet the great head of light entertainment in the sky. I suppose we're all thinking, how sad it is that a woman of such talent and capability of such unusual intelligence and such uniqueness should now be suddenly spirited away at the age of... Wait a minute, I don't actually know how old she was. <clears throat> My point being, she was far too young to be stolen from this world. And yes, 31 is young. Before she'd achieved so many of the things that she was capable of, before she had enough fun. Perhaps I should say nonsense. Good riddance. If she wishes to leave without so much a goodbye video or tweet, I hope she fries. But as much as I would like to move on with such ease and indifference, I am devastated. Never again will I be able to watch her weekly, monthly, yearly uh, videos without a single artistic tear coming to my eye. <laughs> Rest in peace, Mary Doodles. You were loved.
Oh, how moving. Speaking of moving, let's move on to your art this month. So the theme for the month of November was Back from the Dead because I didn't get enough creepy Halloween art during October. So I'm gonna go over some of the lovely pieces that all y'alls posted on the social medias, starting with this one from Stabby Wraith. This is a lovely piece of Taylor Swift fan art. The artwork is beautiful. I love this clean, minimalist, modern cartoon style here. Marinia.blog did what is probably the more unique pieces I've seen on the internet, and that's saying a lot. Fun, cute, ghosts, creepy. Is that a mouse corpse in a pentagram that they're using for this ritual? This next one is from Ida Erickson, creepy inky drawing. It almost looks like a negative picture, like the colors have been inverted. I, and it also it reminds me of uh, Stephen Gamble, who did Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Beautiful style. Very creepy. Love it. I don't know what language that is, but I agree with Juicia Trana Ataliva. Sneaked! Deborah Drawing made this illustration. There's something about the lights and the butterflies which make it feel very ghosty. Like ghost lights, butterflies are the soul. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and not to keep comparing uh, people's work to other more famous artists, but very Starry Night vibe to it. Hello Master, this is a sharp, sweet piece of drawing here. Loving the hatching, oh my goodness, the hatching on the neck and the face. That is so cool. This is a great example of how you can use different kinds of hatching and patterns of the line to shade your piece, but not make it too confusing and blend it together. Really masterful ha pen work. You must love pens. I bet you pen draw all the pen time. Chumbungus. <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me now. No, that was Chumba Wamba. Chumbungus has a great talent for coming up with names and also for drawing these zombie, or it's like a band of the undead. I believe that's a vampire rocking out on a guitar. What's really standing out to me on this one is the figures, the poses. You got that figure work down. There's weight to it. There's tension. There's movement. What other words art teachers use to describe things? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Oh, and that's a photo of somebody ice fishing. And finally, this last piece is from Brenda Evangelista, of course, on Facebook with this lovely watercolor skull. I mean, who doesn't love a skull? watercolor. By the way, side note, if you are looking to improve your drawing skills as far as figure drawings go, draw skeletons, draw bones. You know, it'll give you that foundation and it looks really cool because bones. That's all. And that was your art for the month of November. This month is December and we're going to have a brand new theme. If you want to play along with us, that theme will be self-portrait. So the theme is self-portrait, whatever that means to you. If you want to play along at home, you can do a drawing, painting, sculpture, poetry, whatever. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a self-literal portrait of yourself. It could be something like a color that represents you or a mood, a place. It's just something based on reflection as to what you are. What are you? What? Why? And if you'd like to share what you made, you can post it to Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, hashtag it Y-A-T-M, and tag me at Mary Doodles, so I'll be able to find it and possibly feature it in next month's video. Yay! Good job, everybody. High five. We did it. Thank you, Doodlebugs, for watching this video. Be sure to leave your comments below. I love hearing what you think. And share this video with anybody that you think might want to participate in a monthly art challenge. You can follow me on all the social medias at Mary Doodles and check out the Facebook page. You can find more time-lapse videos there. I have a holiday wish list video that popped up if you missed that and are looking for some gift ideas involving art supplies for your wish list or to give to somebody else. And until next time, Doodlebugs, you come up with a catchphrase for me. I'm just throwing that out. Get, get me a catchphrase for Christmas. That'd be really great. All right, I'm gonna go wine tasting. That's my gift to myself. <laughs>